I was totally in awe of the strength David showed in leading his brigade through the worst of days, Black Saturday and the aftermath. Despite losing one in five of the Strathewan community, who had been part of the fabric of his own life for decades, through tennis, weddings, kids, sport and more. David kept going. He agonised to me that he wasn't trained to pass on news to the bereaved of the death of their loved ones. I told him that all that mattered was that he had treated those families with respect and that they would never forget and be grateful that at least to hear the most dreadful of news was that someone they knew, from someone they knew and moreover someone who cared so much about they and their loved ones. He fought hard for, Joe, for, for firefighter Joe Shepherd's death to get official recognition and for his widow Deanie to get the support she needed. He took numerous people, including then Premier John Brumby and Deputy Premier Rob Hulls by car, on the harrowing journey of blackened earth to quietly and matter-of-factly explain how the fire front had ravaged the valley he farmed and loved. He showed great courage again in presenting evidence to the Royal Commission. I know that David carried an enormous burden since 2009 and kept a lot of this to himself. Farewell, dear friend, you are a giant, one of the finest men I've ever met. My deepest sympathies to Marilyn, Andrew, Lisa and family, and also to his much loved CFA family. David McGay, you are irre irreplaceable. His funeral was attended one of the largest funerals I've ever been to in my life. There was a very small church in Whittlesea, the Christ Church, and a huge number of people and a huge torrent and storm, just the opposite of what he experienced on Black Saturday. I was privileged to be part of a guard of honour in that pouring rain with my firefighter brothers and sisters to say goodbye to a man that was just a giant, a tower of strength for our community. He was then buried at the beautiful Arthur's Creek Cemetery that has 360 degree views around the area that he protected so well, up to Strathewan, up to Sugarloaf, up to the King Lake Ranges. He would have been so proud of his daughter Lisa and Marilyn and everyone else how they conducted themselves at that beautiful send off and most particularly Michael Chapman. Thank you, dear friend. I learned so much from you. You were the master of the pause in public speaking. You were the master of getting across a message on behalf of your community. Easter was just a terrible time to get the phone call to say that you'd passed away at the wheel of your car in the Yan Yan Reservoir. But just like you, you pulled over and didn't allow anyone else to be hurt. Vale, David McGay. The member for Sandringham. Thank you very much, uh, Acting Speaker. Uh, in contributing to debate on the Justice Legislation Amendment Bill,